Good morning, everybody from the Philippines. Well, it's the uh, 29th of July, and you know, it's a Monday, early in the morning, about 6.45. And it's trash day, so I'm getting ready to put all that stuff together. And why I'm doing it? Well, my wife is away, and I'm here all alone in the Philippines, well, me and my son. And uh, doing everything myself, so it's been interesting. It's not really that hard to take care of yourself here as a foreigner. So uh, I've learned a whole lot, that's for sure, <laughs> even with paying bills. So um, I'm gonna have a cup of coffee and I'll show you later on some of the stuff that you can get rid of on those trash pickup days. So back again, my little coffee time is over. It's time to go in and uh, gather the plastic and paper stuff that I need to get rid of. So it's kind of like a weekly routine. We got our trash can set up for food trash, plastic cans, bottles. So I'm gonna get that stuff and um, just put it all together. This is a weekly thing, so just a moment. So, got one bag together. Get rid of all the plastic and paper. If you have anything in your bag other than that, they won't really take it, so. So there is the one thing that <clears throat> kind of odd here is hard to get rid of cans and bottles. They got some weird things for that. Um, let me kind of set this down as I need my cans. So. Um, If you have, excuse me, back again, but if you have cans and bottles, they don't pick them up. The reason for that is I've been told that they don't pick up stuff like that because people sell it. But that didn't really answer my question. You know, what if you don't want to sell it? You just want to get rid of this stuff. So, but it's better than nothing. So, I try not to buy too much in cans <laughs> and bottles, but that's kind of impossible to do because I like to have a drink. You can't buy no bourbon or or nothing in plastic bottles. So, I'm just putting on my changing slippers to go out in the yard. So I got a little area over here that's really a mess that I'm working on. So, and uh, kind of gathering all the plastic and stuff right there. These rice sacks are very important to get. I bought a whole bunch of them. Didn't cost much, like 400 pesos. I got probably 100 of them or something like that. They're real cheap. And they're durable. They can hold a lot. Got this bag here full of these 25 kilo rice sacks. I like to get the bigger ones that are 50 so you can consolidate stuff. And this stuff here will go out tomorrow with the bio, bio trash. So I got three more bags of that for tomorrow. Probably have to sweep up the yard real quick. 
to add that into those bags to get rid of it tomorrow. So let me unlock the gate, do a little pause. So we got that gate unlocked. And basically, you just start setting out the um, trash, which there's a big truck that comes about eight o'clock. I usually try to start around seven because it ain't a guarantee that truck makes it around here at exactly eight. They may come earlier, may come later. So I figure if I always start around seven, good morning that I won't be late doing that. And the stuff will be gone. So as you see it behind me, you just pile it up right there in front of your house. It's what everybody is doing. And they will pick it all up. But only paper and plastic. I got a lot more things that I really want to get rid of but I got somebody helping me on that too so I got a few odds and ends to pick up so that's why I got the bag old hoses we have a lot of leftover building stuff building material that I want to get rid of a broken mop I'm just gonna some of it I just take a chance and set it out there to see if they pick it up but they will. So let me pause real quick to bag up some odds and ends. So back again, um, let me show you. So all the other little stuff is gone. And like I say, I'm gonna take this old mop and set it out there cause it's a lot of plastic. And so, that's really that. And everybody else, as you see, the bags over there, over there. Folks there setting their stuff out. It is 710, so. I am ahead of the ball game. So later on today, I get a tie this up in a bundle like I did a lot of that stuff there finished breaking this down if it dries out some I can get the leaf blower and blow all this up put it in the bag today too so this is my weekly routine managing the house by myself and back here so you got little stuff everywhere that I already started on. This stuff goes out tomorrow. Got a few more plants to pull up and get rid of. So I just take all this stuff, tie it up with this rope we, with this string we have so it makes a nice bundle like that. It's easier to carry and get rid of so I can just carry it put it get it ready for lunch so Monday and Tuesdays is the day you work to work getting rid of your weekly trash <clears throat> a friend of mine was complaining they don't have a trash pickup at all. <clears throat> Sorry about that, Earl. So, got that, that, all those bags, three bags there. And one more bag with a lot of debris in it. Like I said, those rice sacks are pretty good because from the coconut tree, we got one that's really sick, dying. Those branches are huge. <clears throat> So I 
got an electric saw that I cut them up in smaller pieces, tie them together with this plastic string or I can't remember what Filipinos call it, straw. They call it straw, that's what it is. But I tie it up with that in a bundle. It's easier for the people pick up the trash to get rid of. But you really need those rice sacks. And they're cheap, like five pesos or something a piece. So I go to the plank and buy a bunch of those. And then almost went through what I have now. But they come in handy when you got a yard like this and something falls down. A banana tree is a mess. Which made me buy a whole bunch of tools. And that's why I need to make a, make a place to put all my stuff to get it out of my computer room. So it's a computer room because I want to set up a photo studio in it. This area here behind this little building is a place I want to construct later on to make like a tool shed. But we'll get to that way later. So, I don't think I need to ramble anymore about trash pickup. So that's how my Mondays and Tuesdays start. early in the morning because you don't want to miss that trash pickup. The funny thing, by the time they pick all that up, I done picked up a lot of debris and stuff from other places and it's just a weekly pile up. But I really like to get, get rid of that stuff in that corner because it bothers me with the way the yard looks. You're like, oh, beautiful. Oh, really nice. Oh, what's that? That's just work in progress. So, <clears throat> now, since I got that out of the way, so you need two pairs of house shoes here. You need some slippers for outside. You need some for inside. Especially this time of year, the rainy season. <clears throat> I end up sweeping this thing off a lot to where um, I have to take a water hose and just wash it all down because it just gets really dirty as you pick up all the rocks and stuff coming in. So, it's a little humid this morning. Always humid here. Go inside. I can sit down and relax a little bit now. Turn on the coffee machine here. I'm going to show you. And, uh, another cup of coffee so the place is pretty still staying clean you know it's a man doing everything it ain't perfect like my wife would do it but it works I mean, we had this coffee machine a little while a couple of years I think had another one that thing lasted a long long time but it finally gave up the ghost. We had to get rid of it. I used to repair it all the time. But this makes a good cup of coffee. The little self cleaning is over. Boom, there we go. I just gotta make sure it's always full of coffee beans, but it is. So, it's brewing now. Coffee on demand. So, that's that. <clears throat> and that is a life in the Philippines.
really goes. It's warm this morning. Looks like school started because I see all the kids in uniform heading down the street with their parents. So it will be busy again. So needless to say, being here in the Philippines all alone without my wife is uh, definitely not boring. Especially when you have a place like this to take care of. But around it, if you have a house, you always have something to do. You never gonna not have nothing. And you ain't never ever really finish like when guy said having a house so I can now I can take a coffee break back again in my favorite spot and then um, <clears throat> just I'll get on to the next thing and the next thing and the next thing so there always be some little thing that has to be done trash is done so see not always exciting shopping is very interesting too well I kind of like shopping shopping ain't bad I don't mind that. That's pretty good. So, as a foreigner, making it in the Philippines by yourself, it's relatively easy. It's nothing real difficult unless you have something technical happen, then you, yeah, you will you need a little Philippine assistance from somebody. I'm making a mess stirring this coffee. Shaking the camera and everything. But I have a, a little, some tissues and stuff here to clean up my mess. I just need to get a little trash bag and set near me because again, I try to keep all the trash separate. So I put a little trash bag next to me. So even when we're out here, we put all the paper and plastic in there. So I'm just balling it up now and just throwing it someplace. So we're being good citizens, separating our trash. So, so this is the trashy video for today. <laughs> Thank everybody for joining me. Y'all have a wonderfully blessed day. Peace out. Bye.